What is up lads, it's Chris Modder Games here. Right, so, today, we're going to be playing another Retro Games video. It's been two weeks since the last episode of Retro Games, so I thought maybe it's a good idea to bring the series back. Now, in this video, I'm playing an absolute classic. I'm sure a lot of people recognise this game. It's Robot Gyro, but it's definitely not called Robot Gyro. You probably recognise this game as Gyromite. This is one of the very few or very first games that was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System when it first came out. It came out along with Mario, Duck Hunt. Quite a lot of games uh, got released and this was one of them. This was an this is an absolute classic. Now, I had major plans on doing a video for this a long time ago, but I wasn't able to do it. And the reason why I wasn't able to do it was because I couldn't find a proper way to actually play the actual game via an emulator. Now, obviously you know that this game requires Rob the Robot to play with you. So the robotic operating body, which is a picture of it right here, this is what you use to play Gyromite. I think there was another game, Stack Up, as well. Um, so there was two games that you could play with Rob the Robot. I couldn't find a way of actually playing this via an emulator. So what I've done is I've... I'm, obviously I'm using RetroArch, but I've also got a controller setting using the Motion Enjoy program and my PS3 controller that allows me to use both controllers all in one controller. So basically I can control the tubes, the red and blue tubes, and Professor Hector using the same controller. So finally, finally I get a chance to do a video on this game. And I, I just, I've always wanted to play Gyromate on this channel. Always. It's always been in the back of my mind to do it. So, what we're going to do is, this game is so nostalgic to me, I, I, I can't believe after all these years, it, it's one of the very few games that I can just sit down and chill out and play a game. You know, all these games that just frustrate the heck out of me, and then this, you get this one game on one system that you just sit back and just relax and play, and it's just, it's just an absolute classic. And you know what the sad thing is? I remember, let me just, let me just play, start playing this. I remember that, I remember I actually had a physical copy of this game. I think my sister did. And I do not know for the life of me what happened to it. I, I just, I can't understand what actually happened to that actual game itself. It was a, I did have the game. I didn't have Rob the Robot. But we just had the game and the only way we could play it was, well, by two controllers. And, well, I think I remember myself, I was a, I was a very small kid, and I, I could just remember the way I played it as well. I just, all I did was, I had one controller on the floor, and just me using the regular controller. And if I wanted to move the, the, the red and blue tubes, all I had to do was pick up the other controller and then just move. Well, I just pick the second controller up and move the tubes, then put it down. Then put the uh, then pick the other controller up and then play. I never had Rob, and uh, well, as you can see, I'm finally playing the game with one controller, and it just feels just feels nice, you know. Now, for those of you that don't know anything, I'm, I'm sure it'd be very strange if you didn't know anything about Professor Hector and and Gyromite. But if for in the in the event of you not knowing anything about Gyromite, the whole synopsis of this game is that you are Professor Hector, the guy the 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 old guy in the lab suit. And the objective is to collect all of the dynamite in all the levels. I think there are about 40 levels of this. I, I'm not sure. I think there's there's either 40 levels or 50 levels. But as you can probably tell, I've literally gone through the first two phases without even batting an eyelid. It's it's just one of those games that you can just sit back and just relax and not do anything. Oh, hold on a minute. Well, uh, I died the first time. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, that won't happen again. Trust me, I, I, I that won't happen again. But I, I just have this huge nostalgia for games that that are like this, and I, I, I just love this game. I was, I was literally playing this the other day. Just, I, I'm, I, I'm almost under the consideration that I might, I might stream this. I don't know. Maybe if, uh, if I feel like it. Oh, did I just, did I just kill that Smick off? That's awesome. Smickoff. <laughs> Smick. The enemies are called Smicks, by the way, if you didn't know. And the whole synopsis is, obviously, like I said before, to collect all of the dynamites in the level. Now, if you want to get past a Smick, or if you want to prevent one of them from killing you, 
You drop these radishes down and they'll and they'll start eating them and while they're eating them they won't bother you at all. They just, or you, you can literally just walk past them while they're eating radishes. But you've got to be very careful where you put them. There's a little bit of tactics involved in this. I mean, I guess if you were playing with Rob, it would be a lot more challenging because obviously you'd have to rely on Rob to move the pillars for you. Sorry, they're pillars. What have I, what have I been calling them? I've been calling them tubes in this entire video. They're called pillars. The blue and red pillars. Uh, yeah, and you'd have to rely on Rob to move the pillars for you. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the way it is, really. Avoid the smix, put the radishes down so the smix can eat the radishes, and then just pick up the dynamite. Just do that every... Well, they're called, they're called phases, apparently. I don't know. They, 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 yeah, they're just called phases. I call them levels because I'm used to the word level. Um, but, like, my sister and I absolutely love this game. If I, show, if I showed my sister this game... I think she'd definitely recognize it. This was one of her favorite games when she was growing up, and this is definitely one of mine. I mean, this I think this is one of the very first exclusive games to ever be on the the Nintendo Entertainment System. This went a lot this came along with Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I think you've got to get that dynamite last. Yeah, I think this game this this game came exclusive with Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt uh, and a couple of other games. So what you the smick will go ahead and eat that radish. Completely ignore you. Now I need to get that rad that dynamite up there. I need to get that last. Because I don't want that smick to kill me. So what I'll do is I'll move there we go. That's awesome. Alright, I must have missed that one down here, I think. There we go. And I'll move that one out of the way. Maybe I should do- maybe I should stream this game. I was- I've always been under the consideration maybe I should stream this. It'll be maybe like a- like a more relaxing stream. More than anything else. I mean, I don't think there are any games out there. On the NES. That you can literally sit down and relax. And not having to worry about dying so much. And even if you die in this game. I mean, it just- you can literally just bring yourself back to this- this phase whenever you want. There's no obligation. There's no- there's no worry. Or anything when you play this. Now, what the hell is going on with this thing? I'm maybe. Oh, right, I see. See, you can. Is is the big thing about games like this? You can actually use it to, to puzzle solve. I just died again. <laughs> but it's okay. It's not a problem. I'm just sitting back here and I'm relaxing and I'm just playing a video game. And this is exactly how it should be. Not like games that I play that frustrate me because, well, you're trying to rely on your teammates to, to, to complete an objective. I'm not going to say the name of the game, but I'm, I'm sure that you guys are familiar with that game that I'm talking about now. You might get in a situation where there's absolutely nowhere to go. Uh, except... Can we get that? Oh, look at that! That was handy. Alright, so I can't move up there unless... Oh, okay. Let's hope you move that way. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Now you go and pick up that radish. I can walk past you. There we go. That's nice. There we go. See, like I said, if you had Rob with you, it would be a bit more challenging. But because I've got my controller set... Well, because I've got, like, two controllers in one, effectively, I can just go through this without too much of a worry. Like, life is too short to... Be frustrated at games, you know, you, you just got to enjoy them for what they are and That's exactly what I'm doing at the moment now. How the hell am I gonna get that? Oh, maybe I could just move that let the smick past Block him off Now I can move that way. There we go. Oh Look he's eating the radish as well. That's that's kind of handy. If I can get through there now Have I messed up? No, I don't think I have have I messed up? No. No, I can go through this one here. So we can go down here and then wait for the smick to come. Hope he doesn't climb up the rope. That's good. I'll actually show you the other game mode as well, which is where um, Professor Hector is sleepwalking and you have to help him get through the level. So it's almost like a rolling rolling game, I think. But I'll, I'll show you that. This is this is this is type A. They call it type A in this. So what I'll do is I'll, after a, the, the first ten phases. I'll, uh, I'll show you the, the second game mode, what they call it, oh, phase B. Alright, so we're gonna go through this, see if we can, uh... Oh god, this is bad. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Oh gosh. There we go. Nice. Right, we need to get, we get through this real quick, because the smek's about to finish eating the radish. Ooh. 
We can go down there. Yeah, look at me getting through this. Like a boss. <laughs> Love it. Um, no, don't fuck up there because you, you'll probably... There we go. Because that's... The I think this is level eight, phase eight. If you're a if you're a Jaramite fanatic, if you know exactly how to play this, you'll know that phase eight, that side on the right there, is a is a common trap. If you if you fall off there, then you get trapped, and then you got you got no choice but to get killed by the smick and then start all over, all over again. Uh, or you can squash yourself; it's not a problem. I mean, it's not like this game is going to make you rage or anything like that. Right, phase nine. Uh, let's see if we can get through this real quick. Because uh, I want I want to show you the, I want to show you the second game mode. Um, alright, let's just squash him. Okay, one moment. Oh, sorry about that, chaps. I just went to go and get dinner, so, uh, yes, I'm back now. Anyway, so as we were doing, uh, we were just going through phase nine. So I think what we'll do is, uh, we'll literally try and get through this level as quickly as we can. And then I will show you phase B, I think they call it. Phase B, yeah, that's right. Uh, so yes, <sighs> not a lot to talk about at this very moment in time. I'm just gonna do my best to try and get through this. Now phase nine is... Oh god! <laughs> he literally selected the wrong pillar there. Sometimes you just gotta be very careful in what you're doing. Uh, yeah, if, if I had Rob playing with me, he probably would have uh, done the wrong thing. Now, I have actually seen a lot of videos based on uh, Jaramite, uh, especially on AVGN, and I do remember these two guys, I can't remember the, their, their names, Ace and Chet, I think they were, uh, from Awesome Video Games. If anybody remembers that, you'll know that there was a very, very brief series regarding this game, and it was actually quite funny because they actually referred to Rob the Robot as like a villain in that, and the, these guys were just incredible at what they did. I mean, their sketches, you know, portraying two guys who absolutely love video games and, uh, you know, sharing their interests with uh, the internet. And I think, I can't remember how many episodes they did. They must have done about maybe about 50 episodes. And they did these episodes possibly about 10, 13 years ago, and I still watch them because they're great fun to watch. And yes, one of these episodes was, of course, on Gyromite. I think there was like four episodes in the series. And it was great. I used to, I, I loved watching it. I, I still watch them because I love retro games and I also love old things. So anyway, I think what I'll do is I don't even know if we can actually kill ourselves here. Do you know what? We'll just kill ourselves deliberately. I'll be with you in a moment. Two very boring minutes later. Right, so we're back on the main menu again. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to try out Game B. Game Mode B. Now, as I said before, this is great because what you can do, as you can see, Professor Hector there is sleepwalking, and the object of the exercise is to help Professor Hector get through the level without getting hit or squashed. It's pretty much the exact same Game Mode as Game Mode A. The only difference is, all you do is just help him get through the end of the level without dying, without, without making him die. And, uh, well, if you had Rob the Robot with you, this would be one hell of a task. But, like I said, I do have the controller at my disposal. So, I guess it just makes things a whole lot easier because I'm using one controller. So, there we go. And as you can probably tell, I've also got a cope with me as well. You know, to help me get through this. I guess the only thing that I don't really like about this is that it's a little bit tedious. I mean, all I want to do is just to get through the entire game. Or maybe I can... Oh no, maybe... If I remember rightly, I think that that is supposed to be... The way you control Rob. So the, the, the green screen, as you can see there, I guess that sort of helps Rob understand what he's supposed to do. I think. Well, if you did have him, uh, you probably would have had that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you don't have to do anything, really. Uh, just, yeah. I think we'll go through the next level after that, and then I think we'll make this a video. Because I don't want to uh, make this too long. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a smick there. So, the object is not 
go down there. So what we'll do is we'll help Professor Hector by bringing down these pillars. And then once he gets onto these pillars, we can help him across. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's as easy as that. As easy as it goes. I'm guessing... I mean, I haven't completed, like, game B the, the whole way through. But I'm willing to bet that the harder... Well, the, the, the further you go in this game mode, the, the, the harder the levels get. Uh, so, yeah. Don't really need to do much. Just do that, really. Yeah. But if you if you can get yourself I'm not sure if this is a very expensive game. I think this is um I think the best the best price you can get for this game is relatively about maybe the five pound mark, I guess. If you live in the USA, you're looking at maybe about eight to nine dollars. If you get that lucky, maybe you might get it for a a good price, maybe three to four four quid. I'm not really too sure. I mean I it's very, very difficult to pinpoint a good price for a game. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta just look around, right? That's, that's the best thing you can do. Uh, oh, there's two different exits here. I think we'll go for the top one. Yeah, I think this is going on for way too long. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna... There you go, that's the level finished. Um, so there you go, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna pause the game. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jaramite. Thank God I was able to do a video for this. I've been wanting to do this game for a long time and finally I get to do a video for it. And I feel like it's a challenge completed, if that makes any sense. I probably haven't made any sense at all in this entire video. If you're watching this, you're probably thinking, what the hell has he been talking about this last maybe 15 minutes or so? But I guess that's me. You know, if you're a YouTuber, just do you. All right, don't try to be somebody that you're not. Just do you, and then people will love you for it. The best thing you can do is be yourself, all right? Just be yourself, and people will love you. Anyway, guys, that is Jaramite, and I'm going to end the video now. If you enjoyed this video, if you really like me playing uh, Jaramite, if you like me playing Overwatch, if you like me playing retro games, if you like me playing maybe some Paladins, or maybe if you want to see some cooler Diamond and Dead or Alive, make sure you click on this video, click like. Uh, comment and subscribe as well. Follow me on Twitter at ChrisModern9. Check me out on my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course, my eBay store. Make sure you click on the notification bell. It's very important that you do this because it will allow you to be notified of any video that I intend to do in the future. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been Chris Modern Games. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hedo. And peace.